Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Valkyria Chronicles. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we fled from a tank and lost Brawl. I did, we didn't, well, we lost the city, sure, but I'm calling Brawl the dude that joined us. He died, and, uh, well, he retreated, he didn't really die, uh, but uh, we got royally screwed by positioning, basically, and I got hiccups as well. So Welky's over here saying, uh, where are we going from here? If they're rolling in the tanks, there's not much the Town Watch can do. We'll try to buy time so everyone can get away. I'll dig in my heels at the main gate and do what I can to stall them. Okay, I'll head back to my house and grab Isara and Martha, then come back. Be careful out there, Welkin. I got the D rank. That's the best one. And, uh, well, we got a crown over there as well. So yeah, good, good things. I suppose we can replay those. Chapter two. It's all available Escape here. From Brule. Yeah, we we need to get out of here. Isara does not. She's not looking. What is she doing? Why does she have a, a big, big machine gun? That is a big one. Uh. So can I actually fight them again? Operation complete. I can't. That's curious. Okay. Let's do this. I wonder if the text says anything in that book, or anything Sarah, that matters. Martha, please yeah, don't be forget, okay. Don't forget who you're looking for. It's like what I do when I go to the shop to buy things: eggs, milk. I need it. Martha. Not the bread. Oh no, not the kid. What's her problem? The spurg. Pregnant or just fat? Who cares? Not gonna make any difference when she's dead. I know that voice. Stop this now. See what she's wearing? Take a good look at that shawl. She's a darkson. And that explains it. I thought this place stunk. Now I know it does. So we got ourselves a fat one and a stinky one. P.U. It's a regular pig farm in here. That's not the <laughs> sound. <laughs> okay. That's not the SMG or the machine gun. Oh, that's how you reach for a gun. I will thank you to watch your tongue in this house. You have to leave now. That's a big gun for such a little girl. Drop it. Wait a minute, isn't that Snake's voice? Isara! Huh? Hold it right there! I said I know that voice. I was thinking of somebody else. Die! What are you attacking them with? A sausage? Did he die? No, he'd be in shot blend. Oh no, what the heck? Dark son pig. Oh. Isara, are you okay? I'm okay thanks to you. But Martha, I think she's Martha! This isn't good. She's gone into labor. Moving her would be dangerous. Right. Well, we can't just leave her here. What are we gonna do? There are a lot of Imperials out there, Is. It's only a matter of time before they take over the Mill Plaza. Well, well you know... Listen, the barn out back. What about fish? it? Our fathers have left us something. Yeah. Something that might get us out of this mess. Wait, I thought you were going to deliver the baby. He knows fish. He's like a doctor. He can do it, I think. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think we're... Yeah. I'm not... Yeah, look at the, the text. I... It starts with an I, and then... Abolished monarchy with the powers... What is that? I'm not sure if it pick up, picks up uh, words on YouTube, though, because of the compression and things. By the... Sc There's definitely things written in there, but I'm not sure those matter. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, let's continue. The legacy of our fathers. Wait a minute. Of course. I should have guessed. What do you store in a barn if not either a car Dad's or a tank. tank? Whoa. I can't believe it's still here. And it's one of a kind. Here it is. The Edelweiss. Tamer built it especially for General Gunther. Yeah, and it worked great too. So it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. 
I enrolled in a maintenance class given by the military. I wanted to be able to do what my father could do. Well, that's great. But that's only a class, Isara. It really didn't need much. Hardly any alterations at all. I well. just fitted it with a new turbine engine. <laughs> it really improves on the power to weight ratio. The Edelweiss is field worthy. Its firepower and mobility are more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does work, what's next? All right. Welks, you took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah. Back in high school. Once. We'll bring Martha here. She'll be safe inside the tank, and we can move to a better she, location. She will. Just okay. leave the driving to me, okay? All you have to do is give the orders. Well, then we don't have weaponry, right? I mean, it depends on what kind of tank it is. Isara, we ready to roll? There's no way. Engaging engine. The Edelweiss is ready for deployment. Alicia could still be out there dodging bullets, buying time for people to evacuate. Here's the plan. We're gonna pick up Alicia and get out of town. All right, Edelweiss, move out! It'd be funny if the wall was already crumbling because she clipped on the... That would be cool. That would be cool. Because it would be more or less realistic as well. Because you'd clip it to the back. Controlling tanks are... It's, it's a not, not a, at all like controlling a car. It's interesting that she said it improves the power to weight ratio as if the engine that she put in there is actually worse on the power side. But the weight makes up for it. Because, well, the vast majority of the weight of a tank is not the engine anyway. And tanks don't even have... Historically, anyway, uh, very powerful engines. I say historically, but that also includes modern-day tanks. What I mean is, back then, it, they didn't really have very power, uh, very powerful engines in comparison to, uh, you know, like what the engines we have today, of course. Um, at least according to what I've learned from playing World of War tanks. Was it no World of Tanks? World of Tanks. That's the one. Uh, so yeah, the. Uh, oh. It's interesting. A tank like that would not be super difficult to operate with two people, I would say. I think even like the Panzer tanks that required five people um, could be controlled with three only. But I'm not really sure what the third would be, the third one would be doing. I remember reading about it, because I was reading about on the, the benefits of, uh, of the French tanks. Uh, in comparison to in in World War Two specific, in comparison to the uh, the Panzer ones that the normal ones required three people for full operation, so you need uh, you need oh it's probably for the gun as well, right? Okay, so yeah, the three ones would be a commander, uh, a, a driver, and a, a gun operator, or the and the commander would need to lo do the loading of things and a bunch of other th uh, loading of the shells and a bunch of other stuff and spotting. So usually tanks would have five or four. Depends on the tanks, it absolutely does. But the French ones, the French tanks, would be a single person in their tanks, which would be super weird and ha introduce all manner of weird stuff in regards to the formation of tanks and how the tanks would go with each other, because tanks go in formations, uh, and they work in... There's all manner of strategies, and it's, <clears throat> it's all very interesting, actually. But because you would need to operate the radio, and, uh, well, you wouldn't have a radio in a lot of the one-man uh, French tanks, you would talk to each other by sticking your head out which is like there's all manner of little downsides to it but they were very very small tanks with relatively big weapons which made them uh, very powerful uh, in certain circumstances the french tanks i honestly think were the most interesting of all the world the world war ii tanks uh it's precisely because of that they were just super interesting and the german tanks were uh, technologically advanced. They were more or less actually at, at the same level as the uh, Amer well, not the American tanks, at least. Um, I mean, at least not the early war war American tanks because they basically didn't exist. Well, not quite like that. But anyway, the the uh, British tanks. But the thing with the uh, with the German tanks was that they were um, 
they were just mass produced and they were just uh, purpose built for the war and all that sort of stuff. Whereas the the French tanks had all sorts of downsides that uh, made them potentially worse under certain certain some circumstances. But yeah, it's it's kind of interesting. So let's continue. I don't know what kind. Of, well, to say that I don't know what kind of tank that is. Here's the brief for this operation. Oh, we're gonna fight. Okay. Is Brule back? The dude? The enemy is a squad centered around a single tank, currently advancing from the plaza onto the main road. We need to defend the gate on that road. If the enemy breaches it, the evacuation, uh, the evacuating townspeople will be in danger. And I got hiccups, which is bad as well. They'll probably head for the gate and try to destroy it. The tank will be with them. Our goal here is to take out that tank while keeping the gate standing. Without the help of your tank, it's next to impossible for us to destroy their tank. Until we can rendezvous, the Brawl Town Watch will do everything we can to keep that gate in one piece. The Town Watch will need to hold off the enemy forces until you arrive with the tank. We'll need to use the sandbags around the starting point and gate for cover to hold back the Empire's tank. So Brawl Main Gate is destroyed is a failure condition. Welkin and Alicia... Uh, and we got right, it. 20 let's begin. turns. We've got to stop them here. Okay. Normally, you wouldn't need a tank to bring down falls, a tank. There's going to be even more casualties among the townspeople. The town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. Got a second? Listen close, and I'll explain. You're gonna say that a lot, aren't you? About sandbags and hand grenades. By moving behind sandbags and selecting crouch, a unit's defenses are maximized and extra damage for headshots is negated. While focus That's why we couldn't kill them with headshots. When, fo uh, when focusing on defense or ending one's turn, it's always best to hide this way. Contrarily, this means that enemies hiding behind cover are well protected and more difficult to defeat as well. This is why the hand grenade is used. Its explosive power can destroy sandbags. Oh, you're not. it's not to attack the enemy behind the sandbags? Okay. Press the X button, the weapon toggle button, to uh, s cycle among your options to hand grenades. In this battle, Alicia possesses some. The grenades are limited in number, so use them wisely. Each player phase units will recover one hand grenade. Oh. Then they're limited in number, not, but not that much. Okay. Yeah, you'd, you'd probably to bring down a tank, you'd need... Well, you need to be close to the tank, really. Uh, and normally, you would wait until the tank was like stopped and just checking things out you approach sli silently and put a grenade under on one of its wheels and it'd break the tracks and then you'd well it depends on how many people that there are around the tank tanks are relatively fragile by themselves and that's how modern day war works as well tanks are on the decline because there's a lot better ways of bringing them down a, a person with a missile a portable Javelin or whatever they're called would you know brings down any any armored vehicle. Uh, never mind the airborne support, which is more common or available at all in modern wars. Because it didn't. I don't think air support was a thing in in World War Two. There we go. We got a shot. We got a shock trooper over there and a light tank over here. So uh, we have Alicia. I was saying Panzer, but I think Panzer might not be the term for the tanks I was referring to. I think Tiger is the correct one, because this, this this light tank is probably a Tiger, or based on a Tiger, anyway. Or, you know. So we got two Brawls, and we got Alicia. Where's Welkin's Chen? Where is he? Anyway, I don't know where he is. Anyway, Alicia, she's higher health, so, and she has grenades. Uh, actually, that makes... That means I probably should, should do this. Okay. So that's the thing. It's for first view. Let's look at what the heck... No, the tank is looking this way. This is all bad news. Oh, but that guy... Okay, so if I go into shoot mode... Hit chance is bad. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Tank doesn't see us. Shoot mode. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. Can't shoot that guy. Uh, this could be good. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. So there's a lot of them there. Is that an officer? No. 
So I probably want Alicia with a grenade. To bring them down anyway. My turn, okay? Oh, I have more CPs. Good. Let's go, let's go. Can you crouch? Can you go? Okay. There's a lot Enemy of them sighted. I know. Enemy sighted. Oh, hi. Oh, all the bad things. No, no. Can I go this way? Okay. It's not ideal. What is that gonna do? Let's find out. Hmm. Interesting. Moving out. Yep. Hi, please stop. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. So we can crawl just anywhere. Which is very nice. But I'm gonna go back here. Crouch. Can't give you orders to crouch as well, dude. So. Actually, I will be able to. No. And how many. Should have another one, right? Yeah. So, yeah, we're gonna be able to do something with you. Let's go this way. So, if he gets stuck on a wall, he doesn't lose action points. Which is great. So, if I could kill the other one. Stop, stop. Really? Oh, that's the one. That's lucky. Yeah, yeah. Are we gonna be okay here? Maybe. Okay, not off to a great start, but then again, we do have a tank. Or they do have a tank. Are we sure? Oh, we do have a tank. Where's our tank? Okay. They spend all their turns with that, that'd be fantastic. Haha, <laughs> that's lucky. Because I wasn't accounting for that. We do have a relatively. You only fired once? How come? Ooh, that headshot was beautiful. Oh, she was gonna shoot again. Shoot again! That was super lucky. What heck are you doing? That's the counter, and that's that. You should be shooting already. Oh, was that a, an officer? I think that was. Yeah, so they lose one command P. That's great. Okay. About Ragnade. A small amount of damage is healed at the start of each player's phase. Sometimes a unit that has survived heavy damage needs help to arrive faster. Arrive? Oh, it needs the help so that the help arrives faster. They need Ragnade. You, yet another product of Ragnite ore. Ragnade can, can which is the first product that we see of that. Anyway, Ragnade combines healing and antibiotic properties into a single medical package. Also anti-fungicide uh, and other, other things like anti- Viral and stuff. Next, uh, select it with the, the X button and then press the button, I know, place the crosshairs on a nearby ally to heal them or place them on no one to use this handy item to heal yourself. Yeah, I did that. I learned that. Okay, so now, let's look. The enemy tank is destroyed. Yes, but... Where's our tank? Did I misread what I am supposed to do here? Okay, so this guy's probably gonna die. I'm not gonna bother with him. This one needs to die, though. Okay. 
That's pretty bad. Ragnade and yeah. So of course this is not good for you. But you can die easily. I need two, sh two headshots? Man, that's not as easy as I thought it was. Okay. Okay, this is kind of good, maybe. Okay. Yeah. It's a good position, I think. So that guy's gonna be a bother. This one... So I think maybe it's Alicia who can bring him down with a grenade, maybe? I doubt it. I think it's, it's our tank. They specifically said it's our tank. Maybe we need to wait for reinforcements or something. Uh, I underestimated how powerful that was going to be. Sure. We're going to be fine. Uh, we're not going to be fine. Because he doesn't get... That's interesting. Oh, come on. I, I was trying to get into a better position. Whatever. So not doing a good job at all. Well, I guess I'm forced to see what Alicia is My doing. Turn, okay? Yeah. No, that's you shoot better. Hmm. And I think I think that's that. Yeah. I don't think I'll have. Yeah. Hmm. Well, the good thing is one of them is very injured. The bad thing is the tank. No. If this keeps up. I realize what happens if this keeps up. Nice. I don't think she's gonna be able to. Okay. That's reasonable. Okay, that's pretty good. And I think he's gonna die. Oh yeah. Oh, come on. Eh, that's actually quite good. That counter should be pretty powerful. That's their commander. I didn't do well, though. I underestimated... Well, I overestimated the need to advance. Welkin has arrived. Too late, though. Too late. You Entering combat. jerk. I could we could have survived that easily. The tank should be able to breach that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut, Welks. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. It's the opposite. You're not driving. It's the opposite. The lines are different. Tanks possess firepower and endurance far beyond that of foot soldiers. They are able to deflect nearly all gunfire from enemy foot soldiers. This makes them a solid wall for your own ground units to hide behind. Unlike ground units, however, tanks do not recover a portion of their lost HP each turn. Tanks also consume two command points when selected in command mode. Rely too heavily on tanks in battle will relying will quickly lead to a fatal shortage of command points. Additionally, tanks require AP to turn, so take care to plan ahead which direction you'd like to face at the end of the turn's end. Well. Off we go. Is this gonna do it? Oh yeah, it is. It's a tank! It's a galleon tank! I also crashed against the Alicia, tree. I'm sorry, sorry tree. we're late. Welkin, 
You have a tank? We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Enemy tanks sighted, Welks. Switching to anti-tank combat. Armor-piercing shells loaded. All right, let's go take it down. That's not necessarily... Okay, I need to be careful to where I go. Armor-piercing shells are not necessarily the, the thing that you need. Can I target anything about attacking with a tank? Tanks have three major means of attack. Anti-armor shells, explosive mortar rounds, and mountain machine guns. So that's what she meant. Because the anti... The armor-piercing... Like, all bullets are armor-piercing. The armor-piercing bullets are going to be more armor-piercing. So there's such a thing as over-penetration with tanks. Because you can just fire a bullet or fire a round at a tank and it'll go through right through the tank. And it'll just, you know, unless you hit somebody or hit something that that uh, matters, you're not going to do any damage. So you need it to blow up within the tank. That's how you neutralize a tank. Or, you know, destroy things in there or something. Um, so if it's a light tank, you probably do not want armor piercing. Anyway, we have that. Anti-armor shells are effective against enemies covered in hard armor, such as tanks. Explosive mortars will hit a broad area with a ragnite blast ideal against ground units. And mortars travel along an arc, aim for the center of multiple foes for major results. But be aware that ammunition is limited. The machine gun is best suited for striking enemies that are too close for the marker and is used to intercept incoming enemies. Press the X button, I know. But we don't have anybody around here, so I'm just sort of checking things out keep going and uh, that's that oh this is actually kind of good entering combat because of uh... okay we have visual and of course you want to be sideways because that increases the armor effectiveness uh, in this particular situation these things are terrible because they are their engines out um, in this particular situation an attack over there. Oh, okay. Probably should use the that. that oh, the, yeah. Look at that. Shots to kill. Three shots to kill. But if you look at the tank threads, which actually in this case would be the correct thing to do, bring down the tank thread threads, because that would limit the rotation of the tank. But that also depends on how fast you reload. That's an 82 millimeter anti armor. Eh, that's yeah. That's kind of big. So it, it probably doesn't have like fast loading things so you just you know attack the tank if you brought down the, the tank threads it'd be good to, new to stop the tank but you probably want to reverse and just deal with the tank in another way I would say anyway uh, that hit about tanks is HP tanks have two separate HP totals body and tread attacks to the tanks body and main cannon will reduce BHP that's body while blows to the tread, it reduces tread. That makes sense. If uh, body reaches zero, the tank is destroyed. Excuse the hiccup. If and uh, if the T reaches zero, AP is drastically cut. I was not. I well, I thought. Okay, it's easier to deal damage to the treads than to the body, even with grenades. Halting a tank before attacking it out at their leisure may be a strategy that's both safe and sensible. The glowing blue radiator plates at the tank's rear is its weak point, where even standard bullets can do reasonable damage. Try to get behind enemy tanks for a change, uh, for a chance to take them down while being careful not to expose your own rear to hostile fire. Oh, I have that as well. Oh, good. I have a radiator thingy at the at the back as well. Okay. My well, turn, okay? Yes. Your friends are all dead. Go, go, go. Can you go? So I didn't know you could do damage to that. Look at that thing. Huh. Maybe it's not quite as clear cut as that, though. You can't see the tank from here. So let's let's throw a grenade in there. See what I can do with the tank threads. Oh, that's bad. Okay, let's shoot at the thing then. See what that does. Yep. 
since the tank is the tank is probably just gonna attack the uh, the um, let's do that yeah the gate we should be fine because I think the gate can take another one unless of course we get surrounded again which is definitely a thing. Okay, gate is still up. This gate can't take much more. Oh no. <laughs> well, we're out of time for the day, so let's see what we can do over there next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Valkyria Chronicles. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.